Welcome to the Manjula Awakening. My name is Kiana, and today we are going to be doing a general message for the collective. This is, because this is a general message, it may or may not resonate. Please just take the please pieces that apply to your life and let the rest go for someone else, okay? I'm going to get all the cards out here before I dig into the story. This is going to be an extensive spread. So just bear with me, do some breathing work, listen to the music in the background, and let's try to get the most important message that Spirit has for the collective at this time, okay? I will timestamp when all the cards are out. I will also get those in view. Just give me one moment. All right, so the video will start at 2.30, let's say 2.40. What we have for this situation is the North Node, the future. The challenge is Scorpio energy, investigate. The heart of the mag ma matter is dignified, your strength. What you're not seeing is your mid-haven. The message from spirit is descendant, an invitation. So these three cards that I pulled out is just some energy to help me understand how these five cards can gel together. And I pulled, excuse the noise in the background, I am a full-time mother. Um, if the background noise does bother you, this may not be the video for you. So back into the uh, reading. So for the how this five cards can gel together for me, I got the awakening card emergence. This is equal to the judgment card. We also have the six of stars success that is equal to the six of wands. And then we have the shadow fear that is equal to the devil energy. Okay. So what I'm seeing right now without doing any further clarification at this moment I do see that right now we are needing to step out of our comfort zone and to start envisioning how we would like the future to it start to in, it's time for us to start to envision the future what it is what we want our endpoint to look like and then it's time to start investigating the steps that it's going to require us to get there. Now for this uh, dignified, the strength to be at the heart of the matter, this is going to require some strength, but not force. You know, this is gonna require inner strength, inner resilience. This is gonna require some soul searching. It is gonna require us to push past our fears. I do see that for the what you're not seeing, the Midhaven, the Midhaven is associated with your career. Like, you know, it is associated with where we're headed in life, like what our life purpose is. So is the North Node. So I do see that this is pushing us towards our life. 
The young ones got a little too rowdy, excuse me. However, back to the situation at hand is I do see that we are being, there's going to be a shift in where your energy is going into your life purpose is is coming to the surface at this time it is going to require a certain it is going to require you to look your fear in the face and overcome your fear which is where this strength comes in at and um you know in the in the traditional tarot cards the strength card which is a leo card is the one card that can overcome the devil the leo energy is what overcomes that capricornian that saturn karmic energy you know so when saturn is all about the energy of karma and the only way to really put to you know to karmic retribution to serve out your karma is to dig deep and find your inner strength and that is what's going to be required as this is my advice position for how this merges in together and you know um the situation is really needing to go through this soul searching and this awakening now as i said earlier there's a need to when you are envisioning your end point where you want to end up at, you are going to need to one, investigate your North Node that is going to require you to get acclimated to your birth chart and understand which, where your North Node placement is at, what house it is in, what is the sign that is ruling your North Node and what that means to your Midhaven point as well. And then you're going to need to figure out how to merge those two in to get, uh, together um, so that you can and have a clear vision of your end game, where you want to end up at. And But as we are envisioning our end game, detach from the result. Detach from the result. Envision where you want to go. Don't hold any attachments to the end result though, because that in itself is destiny. That is, that is, that end result is only in the hand of the universe, right? So I do see that with the proper investigation and then allowing your inner strength to allowing your inner strength to lead the way i do see that success and victory is yours with the six of stars here especially with it under you know yes this is three cards yes this is five but the way that it is laid out no matter what it would have been here if we're trying to do it centered right so the overall energy is the yang the yang is the masculine energy and the masculine energy is all about action, right? But it is inspired action. So there is a need to become clear on the end game. And like I said, detach because the devil card also represents a need to detach from anything that is any expectations, any addictions, any fear, anything that holds you back, it's time to detach from that. And a lot of us, when we are stepping out into our soul's purpose, into our life's mission, we, det we, we get so fixated, and I am guilty, we get so fixated on what it looks like or the, the importance of it. I don't even want to say importance, the perfection of it. I am a perfectionist. As If you look back on my channel, it's been forever since I posted a video because I myself have been going through this energy right here, coming to terms with, I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to have all the answers. And yet I can still put forth valuable information for the collective to apply however they apply it. I allowed my life circumstances to kind of hold me back a little, you know? And so this is, I feel like that that's what this reading is about. 
and I had to face that monster in order to even get the the courage, the confidence, the strength to get back on camera and feel like that I was going to produce something that was worthy, right? So anyways, success is here. You can have success. You can have a victory in overcoming these fears and overcoming this karmic energy. And um, so this this king, I'm sorry, this uh, this yang energy is all about the masculine energy. The masculine energy it is, is, like I said, it's all about the action part. The feminine energy is all about receiving and being in flow with the universe. And so the overall energy is knowing what having inspired action, not just pushing forward without inspiration. So there's a need to investigate, which is why the, the Scorpio energy is in the challenge position. There is a need before you take action to do some investigating as to where it is that you're headed, you know? Can you please clarify the emergence energy for me? Thank you. The Ace of Cups is in the reverse. Look, in the Six of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So what I receive from this Ace of Cups in the reverse is that there is a need to nurture on oneself. Get in tune with oneself as to where it is, you know, your life purpose, which is your North Node. And it is internally. It is something that comes from eternally. So in order to become aligned with it, one must learn how to love and nurture on yourself. And so this is a need for some self-care, some self-love. Awaken to emerge from this, you know, even in this picture, there is a lotus. And, you know, a lotus flower emerges not from dirt, but from water. It, it, the, this is, this grows in murky water it can grow in clear water it emerges in whatever circumstances it's in that lotus can bloom um so this is about realizing and emerging in that confidence from that confidence that's where your victory and your success comes and with the two of pinnacles here this for me is all about Nurturing on yourself and managing the resources, managing your energy eternally and and not wasting that energy. OK, so and then we have the page of swords. And that for me is all about, you know, the page of swords is 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 curiosity. You know, it's curious energy, um, but also what it is is it's the way that you communicate and if you if you use that page of swords energy in the appropriate manner then what that can do because this is knowledge that sword is knowledge it's like I said it's the way you communicate so if you use that knowledge properly it will bridge the gap from you know so if you're at one spot and you're not sure as to how to get over to the next rock that sword can be this this knowledge the way that you communicate that knowledge can bridge the gap to bring these ops to overcome the obstacle right so that's what this um this judgment is all about it's about coming to the awakening coming to the to the conclusion that you have everything that you need to overcome these obstacles to get to your end game. You must be willing to set with yourself. And so this, this, this energy, this um, judgment energy is asking you to go within and to hear your inner calling. And then once you identify what your inner calling is, Set with that, nurture that, 
love that. And, and, and then manage your resources that you have so that you can focus on that, you know? And I have a card in, in my daily angel guidance that states that, you know, when you cast your worries of abundance onto your angels, into the universe, into your higher power, then they take care of your responsibilities for you. So once you don't focus so much on the material part of it, don't worry about the perfection of where it is that you're headed. Just get the end game, investigate where it is that the ending point is at. Okay. And I feel like I've harpered on that enough. Let's get over here to this six of wands. Um, and see what this is about. Can you please clarify the six of stars? Success. And even with the Midhaven here, that's actually the card that I will read to you guys is because this is the position for what you're not seeing. And so I want to read that so that we can make that clear and bring that into our vision you know, and out of our peripherals and into the center focus. So I will read that card. But in this card, you see those birds in the background. That's letting you know that you're not on this journey alone. Your spirit guides your higher power. The universe is here to guide you on your way. Look at this. This is the Ten of Pentacles clarifying the Six of Stars success. So there. And the Ten of Swords in the reverse, like, baby, this is, br let me slow down. And then we've got the Nine of Wands in the reverse at the bottom of the deck, followed by the Temperance. Let me slow down. Let me bring this back too. So there are some completions coming in, which is why this, this Scorpionic energy is in the challenge position, because regardless of what it's here for it is painful the scorpion scorpio stings scorpion stings you know and that and 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 it's not a it's not a comforting energy to set in but it is a useful energy and that's why you have to be willing to face the fear because while it, while there are some things that are coming to completion, because in order to step into your north node, you must be willing to let things of the past fall away. You have to step out of your comfort zone in order to move into the unknown. Right. And so this nine of wands in the reverse is, is it's letting me know that that. You must be willing, even when you feel burnt out and exhausted, you must be willing to remain tempered and patient in order to push through because I am here to let you know the worst is over. The worst is over and you are headed to the Ten of Pentacles. This is generational wealth. This is this is your legacy. You know, you are. This is your legacy. That's what the North Know and the Midhaven is all about. That is your legacy. And that is where you're headed. But you cannot give up. You must persevere. You must be willing to push past the fear, push past the scary parts of this journey. Can we clarify the shadow? Thank you. The seven of pinnacles. And that is all about putting in the work, you know, planting the seeds and knowing that you will reap a reward from it. The seeds that need to be planted have to be faced. You know, I plant one seed by facing one fear. Each fear that you tackle and that you face head on, you are planting a seed that will reap a reward. What was at the bottom? Um, it does require you to nurture those seeds. You can't just plant that seed and not nurture it. You must nurture that seed. 
and then we've got the seven no the five of swords in the reverse um this is for me this is making sure that there is integrity you know um don't get in the tower in the reverse okay let's slow down a little bit i was trying to speed it up so we can get out of here under 25 but huh, the message is not under 25 today the seeds that you are planting you must make sure that they are aligned with your integrity. You must make sure that in order to reap the reward for the seeds that you are planting, they must be aligned with your north node. They must be aligned with your inner, with your soul's mission, right? And, um, and that is what needs to be nurtured. So make sure that you're not going at this from this winning at all costs energy and 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 the need and make sure that you're even though that you may take some temporary losses this is a card of patience this is the long game you know this is i plant my seeds in spring and i yield my harvest in fall this what this energy is so there's a need to be patient with this okay so um you're able to avert a disaster by by taking and by understanding that not all wins are wins you know this is this is understanding that if i take a win today it is a hollow victory we don't want that because matter of fact the divine doesn't want that for you because the divine wants success for you the message from spirit is 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 descending you know that you are being invited to victory to success right so that's that's what i have for you there i'm gonna read this and then we'll pull one closing message card What you're not seeing, the descendant. I mean, sorry, what you're not seeing, the midhaven. Inventory, inventory your professional reputation and ask what you can do to strengthen it. Update your website. Look at your definition of success and make sure it is your own. Actually, make, actually makes you happy and is not one you have inherited from your family or mentors. Think about the training you've received from, from these authorities and notice where it still serves you and where you need to release their preconceptions and step into something bigger. You may need to go back to hidden dreams and reawaken an ambition that may not make sense to anyone else if you choose not to seek your sense of accomplishment as a reflection in the outside world let me reread that that didn't that didn't set well with me if you choose not to seek your sense of accomplishments as a reflection of the outside world your midhaven can speak of a quieter sense of personal authority this is your life define the mountaintop for yourself take the next step in that direction tradition other people's expectations or your family history may not may be complementary to your ideas of your own potential or they may be hurdles to overcome as you find your true path underneath all worldly senses of ambition is a soul's longing to live out its potential listen to the call so so this is so this is about defining your own end point right so investigate what's holding you back what have you picked up along the way that is no longer serving you So let's get one closing message from the Daily Angel Guidance.
take inspired action that makes sense for your life and not what makes sense for someone else. Three fell out. Who am I to argue with spirit, right? So we have a law of attraction. Each thought is an investigation. Is <clears throat> I'm sorry. Let me slow down. Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. Ask. Ask us to help you in this situation, and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We govern, we're governed by universal law, and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So patiently, so we patiently await your request. That's the seven of, that's the seven of Pentacles. Relationship. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. And every other relationship follows from there to attract, heal, and balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you ask, as you feel safe and loved within, so shall that your other relationships bloom and prosper. All right, guys, I know I sped up at the end. I hope you could still obtain that message. And I pray that this message provides you with some type of guidance on your daily journey. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace, love and light.